Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hall of Heroes is out and we're on stage 3, B3. And we're gonna try and find a team that will work fine uh, for this. I'm gonna be trying to be a little safe because if I don't, I feel like I'm gonna lose it. Uh, B3 is often quite hard. It's now just a challenge to find a setup. That will be able to really do good damage on the enemy while putting up a good time as well. What would my DPS be? I think he is a good unit for that. What else? Belladion, the armor break. Let's see how we do. Um, hopefully, it works. I do think the setup is relatively safe. I mean, got some control. They have less attack uh, because of the uh, Sigma was there, and I got a reviver, and I got speed from both uh, Vertihill plus Baladon when he heals. So I think we're doing uh, quite good with this setup. Wonder what this time will be. But we will find out. Electric bomb. And we got some sort of immunity with Vermos. If you do B3 um, or B2 and it's difficult, try to pick up a Reviver. And Belladon always does well. So I would suggest using him. So a Reviver, Belladon, and uh, Vermos is kind of like that is quite safe. Like if you go with those three, you should be able to do it. Like Obviously, you need some good attacker and a good uh, DPSer. Uh, and a, well, I use Verdil for the speed, which does make my DPS go higher. So something like that. I mean, obviously, you don't have to go like the team I use because Iona is not. But you can use Bryant. Bryant is a perfect example that can be used, and I think a lot of people have Bryant. Uh, maybe not everyone, but quite a lot have them. Um, and then. So, Vermos, Baladion, Reviver, a good DPS or that, that does well. Like, I took Sigmaris because he has the attack break as well, which makes it a bit easier. So, if you have something like that, it would be nice. And I would personally either go with immunity on your units. It's not necessary, to be honest, but it, it could be useful or something like speed. Even though Vermos kind of already takes care of the immunity, so you don't really need that. I guess uh, a speedy unit would make it a bit safer. When I say a speedy unit, I do mean something that can actually speed up your team. So Draco is also a good example, actually, that could be used. Because Draco boosts your team, uh, is fast, uh, gives you immunity, which is not terrible to have, because time to loop will not work and a lot of like some of the other debuffs won't work like that defense break for example um yeah I, d I do think that should work uh try to get a team that does it in like five minutes if you're end game already if you're not it, it doesn't matter but then it's going to be tough for you to farm a lot of them if you take more than five minutes per run, um, yeah, I do think I won't. I will be close to five minutes, but it might be that I need to test a few other things out, see if I can improve the speed of the team. But this, like attack debuff, really helps. Ooh, we get him silenced. I don't think that does matter. Against those bob armors, those stuns, that, that immunity could be net very nice. So definitely something to uh, take into account. Magic search. Okay, I w I'm just thinking, right? What could I change from this? Is it smart to go for, I don't know, a different 
uh, setup. Because I'm now, well the video is 5 minutes, I'm not sure when I started exactly, we'll have to wait and see. If the, I do think I got like 5 minutes. I wonder if I take Lucian if that's an option. Or not. It's, it's a little risky, I guess. Draco is also an option because I got an AoE defense break, which I might be able to use with uh, Sigmarus. But that's not reliable, I believe. So, so far we're doing not too bad. We're six minutes in the video. And I'm almost finished, so I have to see how late I started. So I think I got a setup that's a little, like let's say five to five thirty. That's probably what's gonna be. There we go. He's dead. We got B3 defeated. So I'll show you the units I used uh, and how they ruined. Currently, I used. Um, Vertail lead, uh, basically for the extra speed to get more turns, and uh, because he has a speed lead, also very nice. So he's just a utility monster. He's violent uh, revenge. These are his stats. Then we used uh, Vermos for the stuns and dots, basically the control and the immunity removing those buffs. However, I do think Vermos is possibility to change out and take it a bit more risky. Um, I have to try that. Uh, he is Violent Blade. We've got two rooms I still need to operate. Um, then we got Yona, my reviver. She is on Violent. Um, just high HP basically. Then we got Belladon uh, with speed. Ixe also on Violent. And then last but not least, my DPSer, Sigmaris. Also on violent blade, like violent, everything is on violent, so I could get faster runs and slow runs depending on my procs. Um, so yeah, that was it. I am actually going to do one more run and just some different setabout where I don't take Vermos. Let's see what happens. But what would I replace him with? What about? Him, he has despair as well, so he has stuns just like. Yeah, let's try it because Akamamir actually has despair uh, blade, has high crit, and uh, maybe he has stuns. Maybe that speeds up the run because he's, do he's doing more damage. But he's not violent, so I'm not like sure. Man crush. I oh okay, the speed is a little bit messed up. My Khmer is faster than my Sigmaris. I was hoping that Sigmaris was faster. Because then he could do the AoE armor, uh, sorry, attack break, and then Akamir could do more damage. Oh, the bombs of the first turn. Are they gonna kill that? No, they don't, they don't do that much damage. Good to know. But very annoying. Man crush didn't do too much damage because there's no debuffs. It's not doing bad or anything, it's just that I don't think it's doing great either. Like, Akramami doesn't do damage enough. And I could take Lucian, but Lucian alone has a too low crit, uh, which is a problem. So, he does stun, so that's still good, it, I essentially didn't change the role, I just took a higher DPS unit with me, but his DPS is like not that much higher. 
and there's a little bit more risk involved because I do get the Z-Bus now. But because I got speed on uh, with Verdale, I actually can get away with that. I think Orion could do well as well because he has an AoE defense break which might do good. Like AoE defense break and some control um, and a speed buff. That's not a bad idea. Orion is the water brownie and I do think Orion is an option. Because Orion actually, yeah, that, that doesn't sound like a bad idea because I have an AoE defense break then. Which could provide a lot more damage with Sigmar is doing his second skill if he goes right after. Nice, okay, that's something I want to try out because that could work. And it will like increase the attack gates as well again, so that's also pretty decent. Yeah. Akamame doesn't really add anything. His damage is mediocre uh, because I don't do debuffs at the right time, only armor break, but that's about it. This arm time to loot doesn't really matter because I'm gonna go a few more turns. Okay, they killed Akamamir, but no worries, he's back. Taking a Yona out is very is possible, but it's like risky because if the units die, uh, you could lose the run, and I don't want to lose the run. She does decent damage anyway, so it's not terrible. So the run, I don't think it was that much faster or slower, so it didn't really change anything. So let's try one more setup uh, with Orion instead of Akamir and see what that brings us. Nice, four pieces. I also could think about, instead of Orion, uh, use Megan. But that's, it's not going to change too much, I believe. I think defense break, AoE defense break could do way more than anything. So, let's see what happens. Armor Sprank. We got two defense break already, so that's good. Fly, fly, that is where I'm taking for basically. Yay. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be faster, but uh, we'll have to wait and see about that. Armor Sprank. Time to loot. Two times to loot. Ooh, the flame slash. That was bad timing because I'm not getting a turn now. Armor Sprank again. I do like Armor Sprank because you at least get a defense break on another unit as well. Um, so having two defense breaks breaks which is pretty nice don't know if he actually makes it faster though um there Nice double defense break. Boom. So, I'm planning on farming this dungeon like a lot. I want to get a lot of these pirates. Uh, maybe I will even want to make the, the, the wind, the light one, like the one we're farming right now. Because I see some use in it. I have to say that I'm probably going to wait. 
Um, right now, I'm actually want to go for um, the fire mermaid. I actually want to build him for uh, my defense, so I can run a de double de revive defense. Not that I don't have a revive already. Like I have Bryant, but I don't like Bryant too much on defense at the moment. Although it's it's a, like Bryant doesn't heal. That's really the thing. So if I go with Bryant, I kind of feel obligated to use Belladion as well. And then I would have Iona, Bryant, Belladion. So then I where's the damage at? You know, I can put one more unit in obviously, but doesn't feel like the best idea. However, Brian isn't that bad. It's not like he's terrible. I mean, I could ruin him up and see what happens with a double revive comp in my defense. See if people uh, like go against it a lot or not. I could just be super boring. Like, this is for rush hour basically, like Chloe, Iona, Brian, Belladion, and then that that's super boring to face. And it would, oh, I guess it will take time. And it's also it's pretty smart in the sense of if it does take time, which I do think it will, it's not that bad because I have. Like, I have Chloe, so Lucianing me is definitely still possible, but it's it's already harder because of Chloe. Uh, besides Chloe, I also have Shield Runes on Chloe, so it's going to be even harder to Lucian, even if I don't buff that Fnatic. So, that, that, that could work. Uh, so, Lucianing should be difficult. It's not saying it's impossible, it could be difficult. And I do. I think I do have enough health to survive a Well, at least Iona and then Ryan. Chloe, I think she will survive the ceasefire. Hmm. I kind of want to make the fire mermaid because I think she's better. But hey, okay, it did work. So I actually need to time this stuff, but I will do that. Um, hope you guys got something useful out of this. Uh, if not, that's uh, very possible. But if not, you can just uh, comment down below and maybe ask me for some uh, advice if you need it. Uh, I'm not sure if I can reply directly, but hey, uh, somewhere in the weekend I should be able to reply. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys later. Bye.